guys and welcome to my kitchen. This is the first ever episode of The Lazy Cook. What is The Lazy Cook? The Lazy Cook is for someone like me that wants something good and healthy and fast that you can just do by memory and it's pretty much foolproof. I am no chef, I am no cook, but a girl's gotta eat, right? I got this recipe from Finn. I was like, Finn, tell me what can I do so that I have chicken breast so it's not dry and disgusting and he told me this. We're just gonna slice up this lemon, like a so. So I'll make a few of these at one time. I eat it for lunch the next day. Even like cold, you come home and you have a little hummus. It's important to have a pan with a lid. So I'm gonna start it out on high and let it get good and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in. And then I'm gonna cut into my chicken. And I, I don't like cooking raw meat at all. I was a vegetarian for 12 years. So raw meat's not really my thing, but you gotta listen to your body. And it's so good, like you throw this on a salad, you have it cold, you have it ready to go. So I'm literally just taking this chicken and I'm getting my nasty little hands in here. Don't worry, I wash them. I'm gonna throw it on there. Wash my hands. I got Herbes de Provence. I mean, you could probably use Italian seasoning, whatever, rosemary, thyme, whatever you have. And I just kind of get on there. Just be gen generous with it. Then I'm gonna do pepper, fresh crack, and I'm gonna get generous with that. A little garlic salt. You could also just use straight sea salt, but the garlic salt's good. I'm basically just letting this side get browned and crispy. So now I'm gonna flip it, and then we just repeat the seasoning on the other side. And then this is where we get fancy, guys. So I just start laying the lemon on top of the chicken. And there really is no magic number for me at least, I guess that's what I like about it, to know when it's done. You just look, it takes a few minutes on high when the pan's hot, it gets brown, you flip it. It's easy, right? We're the lazy cook. Let's just have a good time. The other side gets hotter way faster because the pan's already hotter than it was. Can you guys see that a little bit? It's kind of brown. I mean, you can get real browned up in here. You can get a little blackened and it is not bad. You trust me, the crispiness is good. You don't want to burn it, like burn the crap out of it, but a little burn. You call it blackened, fab. Since they're both sides are brown and I feel like the outside's cooked, just put this down to medium, cover it up, and go catch up on your Netflix queue. I think it might be done. It's smelling a little blackened in here. So I just kind of cut in and it's done. That's it. So I turn this off and let it sit for a few minutes. It still cooks a little bit in the pan. It's the bomb because it's not dry, it's juicy, it's so good. I've done it a million times since. It's foolproof. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new and Lizbug sent you over, thank you, thank you Lisa Schwartz. You are my idol, my inspiration. I think you're the bomb and I love you. And if you've been here a while, thank you for watching. And if you're new anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm doing a series called Ask Mary. It'll be coming out soon, so let me know what you wanna know. And if you have a specific decor question, tweet me the pics at Mary Elizabeth on Twitter so I can see them and give you my opinion for real. Um, yeah, and let me know what else you guys wanna see. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye! Oh my gosh, so good. Describe. It's so moist. Right? I love a little crispy bit. So good. Nailed it.